Okay, this is uh, seven drones, and I have the DJI FPV here. One of the two that I have, uh, both of them are hacked. And today, I'll be going through the steps to show you guys how to uh, hack your DJI FPV drone to remove the no-fly zone, as well as enable the FCC mode to get longer range and better penetration. So stick with me. Here we go. First things first, most of you guys will be starting with the most current firmware. So to apply the uh, NFZ hack and the FCC hack, you have to downgrade your firmware. So what you want to do is go to the DJI Assistant for FPV and log into there with your uh, DJI account. And, you know, nobody needs the firmware update because it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't give you any, uh, it doesn't give you any, uh, performance upgrades or whatever. So, you know, what you want to do is go to the, uh, no, I don't want to update my fly base data where I don't want to do that. So what you want to do is go to the uh, DJI Assistant for FPV, which is where we're at right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, there you go. And if you see, if you see my current firmware is 1.02.0020. That is the current firmware. The NFZ hack and the FCC hack will not work on that firmware. So what you want to do is um, downgrade your firmware to. Zero one zero two zero zero zero. You want to click on downgrade, and you want to downgrade your firmware. Start update, and I'll be back once it's uh almost done downgrading. Yeah, so when almost done with the firmware roll back to zero one zero two zero 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 drone turning off and on as it does rolling back rolling the firmware back from the update up complete rolled back to oh one oh two zero 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 I will go back. Current firmware. Oh one oh two zero zero zero. Rolled back from oh one oh two oh oh two zero. So yes, the DJI FPV firmware can be rolled back. Now I will. I can handle that. It'll be. I will back out of the DJI. I will back out of the DJI. I will back out of the DJI. And I will go to dronehacks.com to apply. No, I need to go to the. I will go to the drone hacks to apply my. Let me log in. You must create an account and log in with Drone Hacks because all your licenses will be connected. So now, FCC signal strength hack. I will apply it. Apply the FCC signal strength hack. turning off and on to let you know that the hack is applying and that's dronehacks.com that would allow you to hack the FCC as well as hack the N no fly zone the NFZ and it is applying That is dronehacks.com. 
that is the FCC signal strength hack that's applying right now. Drone turning off and on. That's how you know the hack is being applied. Don't want to do that. The hack is being applied. Device license is valid. Start loading. Now you must um, connect your drone to your computer when you connected the drone hacks. And it'll take you through it step by step. Now... Please remember, never update the firmware of the drone. It might stop the possibility of hacking completely. But as you guys can see, I updated, then downgraded, so it didn't stop the hack at all. Um, but signal strength hack applied. Please restart the device to activate the hack. Now, the hack has been applied. We will restart the drone. To apply the hack. And like I said, you must go on drone hacks. You must create a uh, um, drone hacks account. And the hack costs about $40 for the license. But once you pay for it, it goes through your drone's serial number and you have the license forever like whenever you update your drone or if your drone updates and you lose the hack when you plug your drone in with the serial number back into drone hacks you automatically got you have the update for life you have the hack for life so if you ever lose the hack you can go right back to drone hacks and hack it for free without paying for another license and um now we're all good and so now we will do the no fly zone hack. Remove altitude limit and NFZ with hack certificate. So boom, we click on that. Need to follow local laws and regulations. We are not responsible if you break laws or do other illegal dangerous things. Do you continue? Yes, we continue. The drone might reboot several times during the process. Do not worry. Okay. And as you can see, that green slider lets you know that the hack is in progress. Drone turning off and on. Now it's gonna try to read the drone as a memory card. Click out of there. We don't wanna look at the files. Device license is valid. That means the license that you pay for is valid. It's it's valid for life. So you can hack. So if you have to unhack your drone to send it back to DJI or whatever, you could down up, upgrade the firmware to send it back, and they will never know it was hacked. And when you get it back, as long as it has the same serial number, you can plug in and you have the hack for life. And you could just go through this process again without having to pay for it again start loading exploits loading exploits done you can start hacking your device now log in successful hacking unlock certificate and it is hacking it will turn off and on a few more times like yeah, i think it's about to turn off right now yep there we go it will do that about two or three times maybe four times throughout the hacking process and as you know, it tries to read the drone as a media file, and you just click out of there, and it's still hacking. And that is dronehacks.com. Dronehacks.com has everything you need to... Uh, Please remember, never update the firmware of the drone or DJ Fly app might stop the possibility of hacking completely. But as you know, I as you all have seen, I just upgraded my firmware, then downgraded through the DJI Fly app and um, the DJI Assistant app, I'm sorry, and it was able to still continue to hack. Hack certificate installed. 
So now it is hacked. Uh, NFZ removed. NF no fly zone removed. FCC. Um, FCC mode is on, and that is how you hack your drone to remove the no fly zone as well as the FCC hack at dronehacks.com. If you like more drone stuff like this, um, like, subscribe, and I'll be, you know, updating you guys on stuff on how to take care of your drone, how to hack your drone, how to get the most out of your DJI drones. And this is Seven Drones, and we are out of here. Now to check that your device is unlocked, you go into the DJI Fly apps, go to settings, go to geo unlocking and go to aircraft unlocking license and you see your dronehacks.com custom unlock is applied so your nfz is in fact removed and that is how you unlock your dji fpv drone to remove the no flight zone as well as the fcc hack through no limit drones.com i have been using this hack for almost a year now it has never failed me i have never had an issue with my drones i have sent one of them back to dji for replacement and repair and there was no issues with them and um that's how you do it if you want to you know fly further and you know uh, remove your no-flight zones, and um, yeah, it works perfect. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with more hacks and more uh, DJI uh, drone content, subscribe to the channel, uh, like, share, and we out of here.